Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to the first trader tutorial, and today we're gonna learn how to make this a scroll texture. Basically, if you need anything to scroll along a surface, yeah, this is how you do it, and this is just going to make your get your legs wet in VFX. I'm uh, sorry, shader and uh, visual shaders in Godot. So yeah, let's get started. So first things first, create a new scene. A 3D scene, call it whatever you want, I just call my stuff and create a mesh instance. So we need a plane and go over to mesh and new plane mesh. Edit the mesh properties in the x axis, make it a little bit longer and stuff. Don't worry about this guy, just, just, just don't worry about it. All right. So the next thing we are going to do is create a new shader material, a new shader material, and we need to use the same new shader material. Right? Now, if you have never used a visual shader, it will actually be in shader. So you need to click this and turn into visual shader and call it whatever you want. I'll just call my scroll shader. Scroll shader. So yeah, and if you click on the scroll shader, tada, the visual shader graph opens up the panel for the visual shader graph. Now there are some parameters that are right here. These are all just like uh, things for like albedo is basically like the color. Like if I just drag this and I use a color uh, color, uh, color constants. And let me just change this to that. You see, it actually turns pink. So yeah, that's for albedo. And alpha is basically the opacity, metallic, and roughness. Basically, all those kind of you are going for. And also emission, another very important thing actually. There are other things you can just check them and see what they do. Just basically, like in the normal shaders, you, you can tweak them using numbers and stuff but we are here to make things scroll so let's make things scroll so the what we need is actually a we are going to be using the albedo so we drag this out and we are going to need a noise texture or like a texture any texture you actually want so i'm going to be using a texture 2d for now i'll change it to something like spot but for now a texture 2d and going to be using a noise texture there are a lot of different type of texture gradients and stuff but noise texture and you can click on this i dot and you are seeing naturally pink because we haven't applied the noise texture yet so you click this click new fast noise texture and boom we got our noise texture and stuff for now let's not bother about that so now this texture is just static and that's not good so we need to make it scroll so now in order for us to make it scroll we need to manipulate the UV. Okay, so I just set up this thing real quick. So this is a sphere. It just has a normal standard shader. So I just want to show you what UV actually is. So UV is basically like I don't know. I don't actually really know, but it actually lets you manipulate the textures in a mesh. Like you can do stuff with it. Like I can move it in the X axis, and you can see it's scrolling. That is basically what we want to do. You can even scale them out and do other weird, weird stuff. So yeah, <laughs> I'm seeing it to this. I don't really have a good explanation of what UV is. Kind of done. So yeah. Okay. So back to the shader. So right now, that's what we want to do. We want to manipulate the texture. So we are going to use its UV. So if you drag this out, and for us to do that, we need a UV node. A UV node, but nothing is happening because we need to do some more stuff. So we need to add. An add node, an add node, and an add node, a vector three add node. In case you just click on the first one and it actually shows vector two, just change it back to vector three because it's going to be buggy. So if we connect that to here and yeah, that to here, okay, that's that. But nothing is still happening because for us to move the texture, we actually need. A time node, so we are going to be using a multiply node. 
a multiplying no because i want to multiply the time and the a vector so we just multiply it drag this out and we add the time node that's basically how we make stuff move in shaders and right here we can just make this one and i think it's supposed to move yeah right now you can just make it move like that's it scroll texture achieve like you can it's it's moving it's moving but if you want to be able to like set it maybe in the parameters right here then we'll need to turn this to a okay, vector two parameter yeah <laughs> that's it so vector two parameter connect to that it will stop and if we default value we enable default value so we can actually add the default value here uh, point one then you can call it whatever you want this is here you name it so call this you can call it speed speed let's just make this one so it moves faster now if you actually go back over to the text the noise texture uh, you know if you click it and you go back to shader parameters you can see the speed which is basically what we says here speed and you can see it is actually scrolling along the x axis so yeah that's basically how you make things scroll now what if you want to use something else like another another texture do you really have to come back here no you don't so we need a texture 2d parameter this basically anytime you see parameter in good for it basically means you can actually export it as so you can just call this texture and we are going to connect this sampler to the over to uh, sorry over to this sampler to the option in the texture to the there and now we get an error say sampler port connected but cannot use cannot use change to same sampler port so we all went over to this texture here and change it to a sampler port and yeah everything we have worked on is actually gone but don't try so if we actually go over to the shader parameters click it shader parameters you actually see the texture option here and here we can put our new noise texture and create a new fast noise texture and we still got what we actually wanted but what if you need another want to use a different texture altogether but now let me drag in this window texture in and you can see that you can literally just change it to whatever we want so you just drag this in it's changing and scrolls this can be really used if you are doing like an endless game like endless runner game I remember when i was actually working on uh this a chrome dinosaur 3d version <laughs> if i knew this i wouldn't have done whatever stuff i actually did there so yeah this is basically this is this is literally all the nodes and stuff we need in order to make a scrolling texture in google Pro. and also you can actually check the script by clicking this icon here it's and it will show you the code part of everything which i still don't understand so i don't know i don't like coding shaders so that's why i stick to visual scripting visual shaders so yeah that's basically it that's all we have done all we are going to do for now and yeah so if you like this video just like and subscribe i'm going to be making more visual shaders and stuff i'm still learning this thing so i'm just they, they say you, the better way to learn stuff is by teaching stuff so yeah thanks for watching Destus out.